Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. Our exciting story for today, kids, is called Babu the Silly Baboon. That's right, kids. Babu the Silly Baboon. Say it with me one more time. Babu the Silly Baboon. Okay, kids, let's start our story. So it always rains in Africa. Beautiful, sweet-smelling rain. However, there are times when the beautiful African sun gets very, very hot and very, very little rain falls or sometimes no rain comes at all. Hmm. This is called a drought. A drought. When this happens, plants do not grow and the rivers and lakes become very dry. The animals struggle to find food and water. That's very sad, kids. It was one such year in a jungle in the African country called Malawi. Malawi. Babu the baboon and Sura the clever and not a rabbit were there. They had been traveling all jungles all over Africa to find food. Now, as everyone knows, Sura is cleverer than silly old Babu and braver too. It was one afternoon in the blazing sun that Tsuro came running to Babu, who sat under a tree. He was running, kids. Babu, Babu, he called excitedly. Yes, Tsuro, Babu replied, tired from the sun. I found some cows roaming around by themselves. Our problems are over. Tsuro was hopping up and down with excitement, kids. He could not even stay still. He was just jumping up and down, up and down. Babu was confused, so he asked Tsuro, What do you mean our problems are solved? What will cows do for us? Tsuro looked at Babu and laughed. Ha 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 ha, Babu, it means we have found food, he replied, hopping up and down again. Babu was still confused and he began scratching the top of his head with confusion. But Tsuro, he asked in a deep slow voice, we do not eat cows, we are not carnivores. Tsuro laughed again and shook his head. Oh, Babu, I know that we are not carnivores. We are not animals who eat meat. We are herbivores. We eat leaves, plants, and vegetables. We are herbivores. What I mean is that the cows I found have milk. We can milk them and drink the milk. Milk has all the nutrients we need and it is delicious. Do you understand now? But we immediately stood up and started dancing with happiness. Then he stopped and looked at Tsuro. But Tsuro, he asked while scratching his belly, how do we milk the cows? I do not know how to milk the cows. I know how to do that, Tsuro replied with confidence. You go to the cow and you go to the breast and you squeeze it and milk comes out. Are you sure, Babu asked. Yes, I am, Tsuro replied, nodding his head. I will go first, you watch me, and after I come back, you will follow what I would have done. Deal? Deal, replied Babu. And so, Babu climbed into the tree and watched Tsuro go. Tsuro bent his little knees, stood on tiptoes, and started walking in tiptoe towards the cows. In a whisper, he said as he moved, I tip. I told, I listen. I tip, I told, I listen. When he whispered, I tip, he would put one leg forward softly and quietly. When he whispered, I, I listen, he would stop and wait to see if the cows were watching him move. After noticing that they were not watching him, 
come to them, he would carefully start again. I tip, I toe, I listen. 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 Finally, he reached the cows. He found one with lots of milk and went to it. Touching the cow very softly and carefully, he started to squeeze the milk into a pouch made of wood. As he squeezed, he whispered, I milk, I milk, I listen. I milk, I milk, I listen. When he whispered, milk, he would squeeze softly with one hand. When he whispered again, I milk, I listen, he would squeeze softly with the other hand. When he whispered, I listen, he would stop and wait to see if the cows would notice him squeezing. Hmm, it's very clever. After noticing that the cows did not notice him milking and squeezing, he would continue again. I milk, I milk, I listen. 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 He did so until his pouch was full. Then he started going back carefully back to Babu. I tip, I toe, I listen. 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 Finally, he reached Babu. Look, Babu, he jumped with excitement. I did it. I got some milk. Now I will be full and not hungry or thirsty anymore. Babu sold Suro's milk and felt jealous, kids. He wanted some for himself. Hmm. He was sure that, unlike what everyone always said, he was better and cleverer than, than Suro. So he leapt from way up to the tree and said, Ha! That is nothing to be happy about. He was beating his chest proudly. Even I can go and bring two milk patches. If you tiny little and stupid Tsuro can do it, I can do it even better. Tsuro was hurt by what Babu said, but he knew that Babu was just jealous and just wanted to be good too. But Babu, let me explain to you how to do it well, he tried to say. But Babu shook his head and said, you do not need to tell or teach me anything. I saw everything you did. I will go now. Babu then turned and started going to the cows. So we just watched him go and shook his head. As Babu walked, he started saying what Suryo had been saying when he had been walking. But instead of whispering, he spoke in his huge deep voice which was very, very loud. I deep, I don't, I listen. I I deep, I toe, I listen. I deep, I toe, I listen. When he whispered deep, he would stomp with his one leg. When he whispered I toe, he would stomp noisily with the other leg forward. When he whispered I listen, he did not stop to wait and see if the cows were watching him move, kids. Instead, he would look back at Tsuro with a smug face to show him that he was good and did not need any help. Then he would noisily start again. 
I dip, I do, I lose it. 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 The girls started to stir. They saw that something was coming to them and they started to get ready. When they saw that it was a silly old baboon, they knew he wanted to get milk from them. Mm, they saw that, kids. They decided to play a trick on him. They moved all the cows with milk to the back and left the biggest, strongest, and meanest, toughest cow without milk to the front. When Babu reached the cows, that was the one he went to. The cows pretended not to even see him, kids. Then he started, I milk, I milk, I lose it. When he said milk, he would say it loudly, squeeze hard with one very huge hand. When he said again, I milk, he would say it loudly, squeeze very hard with the other huge hand. When he whispered, I listen, again, he did not stop to listen to see if the cows were watching him. Instead, he would look back at Suro with a smug face to show him that he was good and did not need any help. Then he would noisily start again. I milk, I milk, I listen. 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 No milk came out of the cow kids, and Babu started getting confused. He was sure that he was doing everything that Zero did, but no milk came out. He thought that he must not be milking, right? So he decided to squeeze harder. I milk, I milk, I listen. 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 The moment he did that, kids, the mean cow stood up and tossed Babu away with the horns on its head. Babu cried out, Zuro, Zuro, please help. They want to kill me, Zuro. By this time, all the cows had stood up and started chasing Babu kids. Those that came close to him would toss him from behind with their horns. Zuro, Zuro, please help. They want to kill me, Zuro. Zuro was watching from afar, laughing and clutching his belly full of milk, kids. He was having fun. I told you to wait and listen. He shouted over to Babu. He rolled over the ground in laughter. Zuro, Zuro, please help. They want to kill me, Zuro. Babu ran and ran in circles, trying to get away from the cows. By the time he managed to run away from them, he was tired, hungrier, and sadder. He began to cry. Oh, Zuro, I do not understand. Now my whole body is so, and I'm very hungry. Oh, oh. Zuro looked at him and felt pity. Poor Babu had turned into all sorts of colors from being tossed around by the cows. He now looked like a rainbow baboon. Next time, Please listen to instructions and make sure that you understand everything before rushing. I will teach you how to do it well so that you will not be hungry anymore. Babu apologized and finally learned how to milk the right way. And he finally got his milk and was not hungry anymore. <laughs> wow, kids. 
we have come to the end of our exciting story. Can you imagine how silly old Babu is wanting to do something without properly how learning how to do it? Well, kids, remember to subscribe and remember to watch yet another exciting story from Jungle Tales. Bye.